Over the years, several rappers have emerged on the New York drill rap scene. Some maintain consistency and have made a name for themselves, while others have faded away after spending only a little time on the scene. One of those rappers who have remained consistent and refused to go into oblivion is B Love. About two years ago, the Bronx rapper came out of nowhere and took the New York drill rap scene by storm. His rise to stardom took only a short period, and since his unveiling to the rap community, he's continued to make waves in the industry. But his successful rap career is without its challenges and tragedy. It's been caught up in the midst of a deadly street war that has seen him lose friends and associates. The good, the bad and downright ugly experiences he's had makes him who he is today. This is the crazy story of Be Loved. Before we start the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to join this month's giveaway for one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, and then watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck! B-Love, whose real name is Quayshawn Cannon, grew up in the South Bronx. The specific place he grew up is known as the Andrew Jackson Houses, which is on Cortland Avenue. Growing up in the neighborhood, which he described as a ghetto, was rough. He said people didn't often visit his neighborhood and this could have been due to the high rate of gang violence that was associated with the area. In an interview, he also claimed he could usually see the nearby Manhattan skyline while growing up, but regardless of this, he stuck mostly to his neighborhood. B. Love hasn't been too open about his personal life, so little's known about his parents or siblings, but word is that he's from a West India family and has had a very solid relationship with his mother. The neighborhood he grew up in got him in close contact with the likes of K-Flock and the two quickly became good friends. They both had no idea that the childhood bond they formed was the beginning of a long-term friendship that was going to stand the test of time. Now due to the kind of environment B-Love grew up in, it's nearly impossible for him to be unaffected by the street lifestyle. He was being exposed to the ways of the streets and it didn't take long for him to become a part of that life. Now apart from the streets, his attention was also drawn to something else. At school, he was drawn to the game of football, and word is that he did exceptionally well in the sport. But this love for football wasn't enough to totally divert his attention from the streets, which he had grown to love. The streets of the Bronx was unkind and without mercy, and B. Love knew the dangers involved in dancing to the deadly tune of the streets. While growing up, he had seen people he knew getting lost to the streets. One such experience he had of people getting lost to the streets was when a teenager who goes by the name of Moises Laura aka Noah Bala was killed. Noah Bala was affiliated with the OG's gang and naturally he was not on good terms with members of rival gangs, especially members of the street gang known as YG's. On April 16, 2012, Noah Bala met his end after he was assaulted by a group of people who were members of the YG's gang. They saw him in front of a building which was located at 700 Morris Avenue in the Melrose Houses and proceeded to stomp him to death. Noah Bala stood no chance against a large group of people who were bent on inflicting as much injuries on him as they could. He was left for dead in a pool of his blood and when paramedics arrived at the scene, there was little that could be done to save him. He had suffered a significant amount of blows to the head and was pronounced dead at the Lincoln Hospital. In 2017, a YG's affiliate who goes by the name William Bracey, aka Rel, was sentenced to 33 years in prison for his involvement in the murder of Noah Bala. It was later revealed that on the day of Noah Bala's murder, William Bracey and a group of YG's members had gotten drunk and an argument broke out amongst them. The argument wasn't about the courses they were going to study in college, neither was it about building up a business and making something good out of it. The argument was instead about who had carried out the most act of violence for the gang. After the back and forth, the gang members then went to Melrose Housing Projects, which was a rival gang territory. They were out there for violence and hoped to prove who could be the most violent. Fortunately for them, and unfortunately for Noah Bala, he was seen by them. The Noah Bala story is pretty tragic and B-Love was aware that due to his involvement in the streets, he could end up just like Noah Bala, or even worse. But he had set his sights on that path and he wasn't going to look back. B-Love chose the streets and was affiliated with the OGs. Around 2015, B-Love decided to try his hand at rap. As a child, he saw music as an escape and he also grew up listening to the music of notable rappers like Meek Mill and Lil Wayne. So it didn't come as a surprise that that kind of music he decided to invest his time in was rap music. Also at that time, the nickname Buddy Love had stuck. This name was given to him after a character that Eddie Murphy played in the movie Nutty Professor. Following his desire to try his hands on rap, B-Love hit the studio and recorded a song or two and that was it. He simply wasn't ready at that point to start taking music seriously. And even if he wanted to start taking it seriously, his involvement in the streets wouldn't allow it. 
In an interview, he said the following about his first attempt at pursuing music. I went and recorded a song or two. I was young and in the streets, so I didn't really take it seriously. After a month, I just quit. I just gave it up. B-Love would continue to record his songs occasionally, but wasn't interested in posting his songs on streaming platforms such as SoundCloud and YouTube. This meant that he wasn't reaching many people with his music, so he remained undiscovered for a long time. Then around 2018, he got into trouble with the law and was arrested and locked up behind bars. There are little details surrounding his arrest, and for some reason, B-Love himself hasn't revealed much on the matter. But there are rumors that the reason for his arrest was because firearms were found in his possession. Anyway, that piece of information is still up for confirmation. B-Love would eventually be released from jail and he was soon back on the streets living his life. Around that time, rappers like Pop Smoke and Chef G were gathering so much momentum and making a lot of waves on the drill rap scene. Their music was getting massive airplay and there was no stopping it. At that moment, B-Love was once again inspired to pick up his music career. He knew he could stand out and make something good out of his music. He just needed a push in the right direction, and this push came from his homies, Dougie B and K-Flock. At that time, K-Flock wasn't yet recording songs and releasing them. He could also rap, but just like B-Love, he also wasn't taking it seriously. K-Flock and B-Love would listen to each other rap, and they would comment on how good their rapping skills were. They would also motivate each other to start taking their music career seriously. Talking about this in an interview, B-Love had said, We knew each other before the rap. When everybody started rapping, we saw we had good talent. When I heard him rapping, I was like, say no more. He was on my time too. He wasn't taking it seriously at first. But even though he wasn't, I was telling him that he gotta take it seriously because he was nice. He was telling me the same thing. Then in May 2020, K-Flock released his first song titled, FTO. The song was well received and it helped announce K-Flock to the rap community. On seeing what K-Flock was doing with his music, B-Love got inspired and decided that there was nothing stopping him from also releasing his music. He released a song titled No Hook, and a few weeks later he followed up with the release of No Hook Part 2. It didn't take long for the song to hit hundreds of thousands of views and B-Love's name got on the radars of several rap fans. He was considered as one of the fast rising drill rappers who was worth watching out for. The positive feedback he was getting made him finally decide that music was something he wanted to take seriously and pursue professionally. For him, music offered a way out of a lose-lose situation that the streets had to offer. I mean, it's general knowledge that those fully involved in the streets either end up in jail or in early grade. He knew if he invested his time into his music, it was going to provide a better life for him and everything was going to turn out well in the end. Slowly, B-Love began building his fan base as well as his reputation as a rapper who was on the rap scene to stay. Around that time, tragedy stuck and he had to mourn the loss of a close friend who goes by the name Brandon Hendricks, aka B. Diddy. B. Diddy was said to be a promising kid with a promising future. He was a basketball star and had recently graduated from James Monroe High School before he was shot and killed. On the night of his death, which happened to be a week before his 18th birthday, he had been out celebrating a friend's birthday. An altercation had broken out during the celebration and someone had pulled out a gun and fired it. It was said that B. Diddy wasn't the intended target of the gunfire, but he ended up getting a bullet in the neck. He was rushed to the hospital, but nothing could be done to save him. It was too late for him and he was pronounced dead. The death of B. Diddy came as a shock to B. Love and he had no choice but to forge ahead despite the pain. After this tragedy, B. Love concentrated more on his music and went on releasing songs back to back. He finished the year 2020 with a self-release project which was titled Cortland Baby. The year 2021 was a year that saw his music gaining massive attention both locally and internationally. In July of that year, he achieved a big milestone in his music career. He had caught the attention of Columbia Records and no time was wasted in offering a record deal. For someone who's new on the rap scene, things were moving pretty fast for him. All within the space of about a year, he had gone from being unknown to having a pretty impressive fan base and getting a record deal. B-Love was at the top of his game and he wasn't slowing down. After his signing, he followed with the release of a song titled IYKYK, which samples a Wayne Wonders song from 2002. The song IYKYK went viral and increased B-Love's popularity. Well, it didn't end there. A song titled My Everything somehow got leaked and helped take his career to new heights. The song, which was produced by Cash Cobain, was a sample of Mary J. Blige's song Everything. B-Love's leaked song immediately went viral, becoming popular on TikTok. People used the song in their TikTok videos and performed Saucy Santana's dance moves alongside it. 
That wasn't all. The song got two remixes. One from G Herbo and the other from a fellow Bronx rapper who goes by the name A Boogie with the hoodie. When B Love spoke about his rival song, My Everything, he had said it wasn't one of his favorites and wondered why people liked it. He had said the following about the song. We were in the stew, and producer Cash Cobain sent some beats to my a &R. I was listening to it and I heard the vocals and thought about how it was something my mom used to listen to. It bumps automatically, you know the type of music we make with the drill and my mom wanted to be listening to music too, so I'm making music for her at the time. I recorded and then it got leaked, somebody got their hands on it and it was over. TikTok got it and it was just over after that. Due to Beloved's rise in popularity, he also caught the attention of some notable rappers, one of which was Meek Mill. In October of that year, he got the opportunity to perform at Meek Mill's expensive Pain album concert, which took place at Madison Square Garden. The year 2021 would have ended on a good note for Beloved, but another of his friends was taken away from him. This time it wasn't death, but the authorities who came for his friend. K Flock is the friend I'm talking about. He was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon in connection to the shooting death of a 24-year-old man who goes by the name Oscar Hernandez. This took place last year, December. K-Flock has since been locked up in Rikers Island. B-Love has a great feature ahead of him, and there's no doubt that he's going places with his music. Hopefully nothing stops him in his tracks. That's all I've got for you in this video. Feel free to let me know what you think about it. Hey you, yeah you, did you like this video? Great, we've got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like and all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on it fast because this message is self-destruct in 5-4.